At Scripps, we believe giving children books can take them to new places. And here to help us plant the seeds of future success for kids in our community is Kaylee Erskine, Philanthropic Development Manager with the Scripps Howard Fund. Good morning, morning Kaylee. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Well, it's great to chat with you. So let's start off with what is the If You Give a Child a Book campaign and what does it all entail? Absolutely. The If You Give a Child a Book campaign provides free scholastic book fairs to students in Title I schools within each of the communities that Scripps calls home. In this case, specifically right here in Las Vegas. Um, so we work closely with different Title I schools, and those are schools that have a majority of their students on free and reduced lunch. And we want to be able to help them build their own in-home libraries, and we do that by way of the Scholastic Book Fair. I, I think you just you know, briefly touched on it in your, in your response to, to Jessica's question, but could you go a little bit more into depth as to why this, this, there is a need for this campaign to exist and, and who exactly it serves around, you know, not just Las Vegas, but around the entire country? Absolutely. So we know that the number of books in the home is one of the greatest predictors of a child's success in school, but then beyond also. I mean, literacy takes us to places um, far beyond, and we use it every day, whether we realize it or not. Um, and to your point, like I said, Title I schools, students serve there across the country. We're in 43 different markets around the country. Um, so really doing our best, best to help those students build their own in home libraries. Um, we know that they might not otherwise have access to books to call their own at their homes if this program didn't exist. Well, for viewers watching, you know, how can they help out or potentially learn more about what we're doing? Absolutely, thank you for asking the question. Um, there's always plenty of information on our website at thescriptshowardfund.com, but also on KTNV's website. If you go to ktnv.com backspace give a book, that's where you can donate and the dollars stay right in your own backyard. Um, $12 provides two books to children. Uh, so the, the numbers add up quickly and so do the books. So we have the, the Match Day Blitz on, on September 4th that's coming up. There are lots of different uh, philanthropic endeavors and people are looking to you know, use their money wisely. You know, budgets are tight right now. So why should viewers in particular support the program on September 4th? Thank you so much for asking. So as you mentioned, September 4th is an incredibly special day. We are matching up to the first $175,000 donated. So essentially we're doubling our impact. September is National Literacy Month. So we thought what better way to celebrate than being able to double the impact made and the double, excuse me, double the books um, being provided as well. One of the big things for the Scripps Howard Fund that we're so proud to say is not only do the dollars stay within your backyard, but 100% of the donations received go directly back to the students receiving more books. That's great. Yeah, and yeah. thank you for sharing that. That was gonna be my next question because a lot of times people wonder, where is my money going to? Yeah. So right, it's exactly. important to know what that is. And thank you so much, Kaylee, for joining us this morning and going into what this current campaign is all about. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It's a real pleasure. Thank you. Uh, but one, other, one other quick thing. How and where are the, are the donations used here locally? Absolutely. So currently, um, within the last school year, we partnered with two different schools within the Las Vegas um, market. We were with Tom Joy and Matt Kelly Elementary. Yeah. And Kaylee, how many books have been donated in the past years? So across the board, um, we've given out over 1.3 million books. Um, so we're striving to aim to give out our 2 millionth book within our 10-year um, anniversary, which would be the 2026-2027 school year. Uh, for someone who's so enthused with books, I've got to ask, what's your favorite book? Do you have a favorite book in your own <laughs> personal library? Uh, I'm many, I do. Um, I, I now have a daughter that I read to also, and we are very much into the Amelia Bedelia series. Oh, so that was something I grew series. up reading and now passing the love to her as well. Oh, yeah. that's such that's a classic. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Have a great day. You, you too. too. To learn more about the If You Give a Child a Book campaign or to make a donation, just visit ktnv.com slash give a book.